So, Tyler, Apple hosting a media call, and one bit of news out of that call, Apple is not saying whether or not it is going to appeal that decision in the Epic case. Apple saying it's a big decision, it has a lot to review, not willing at this point to make a call on whether an appeal is officially coming. But Apple did give a new statement here. Let me bring that to you, saying we are still analyzing the decision, which is 180 pages long. But the headline is that Apple's App Store business model has been validated. The court correctly rejected Epic's artificial view of the competitive environment in which Apple operates and determined that developers like Epic Games have benefited from Apple's development and cultivation of the iOS ecosystem, including its devices and underlying software. In short, this is a resounding victory, Apple saying, and underscores the merit of our business, both as an economic and competitive engine. So Apple saying this is a, a, a victory, and it is true that uh, the judge here did not declare Apple a monopoly, is not forcing um, Apple to allow in-app third-party payment systems, though not a total victory either. The judge also did say that Apple has to allow developers to link to external payment systems. So again, some big questions here for investors still. Does Apple ultimately appeal this decision? And even if the decision did become the rule here, investors have to think about what they what they believe how consumers would react to that, that alternative. Would they actually choose an alternative payment system if, if it was available or stick with one, the one they know, guys? Back to you. Another great point as we watch this unfold. Josh, thank you, Josh Lipton.